rice sausage? No, they use like this. Oh, do they? Yeah. Okay. All right. It's not breakfast sausage. Just yeah. I just love breakfast sausage, right? We chose this because there's sausage in it. Not we. They picked it out, not me. The sausage actually chose us. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna make the batter first. So first, you have to whisk together the flour, which is a cup of flour, and then two. Nope. Uh, one and a half teaspoons of salt. And you have to whisk that. And in a separate bowl, which we don't have, <laughs> we need to whisk the eggs until smooth. Um, uh, do you have another whisk? Yeah. Well, that means that's already whisked together until smooth. Well, you know it would have been easier for you to do. Here's a fun tip, if you are um, cooking something with eggs, you're trying to beat them, if you stab them first, like if you're using a whisk or like something, it's easier for them to start stirring all together. Okay, also, I love to cook, so it's really hard for me not to steal this whisk away from Megan. <laughs> <laughs> Even though she's a good cook. I think that's good. Sure. Now we're gonna do three tablespoons of melted butter. I put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds, but Just in two it. intervals. Can I see that for a second? I just want to get all the butter out. Are you shaking your head at me? Never. Oh my god. All right. Oh, okay. Are you ready? And then you whisk in a cup of milk, whole milk. Okay, don't. You can keep stirring. Just don't. It was splashing. It's gonna splash. So now, you're going to pour the egg mixture into the flour mixture, and you're going to whisk until smooth. Very good. And then once you whisk it till it's smooth, you are going to refrigerate it for 30 minutes. Might take a while, because now there's a lot of lumps. But I wonder if you sift it. It doesn't tell you to sift it. At least this recipe doesn't. Um, sometimes that might give you a better thing, but you can just, you know, so whisk until it's smooth. Basically what this recipe is, is that it's Yorkshire pudding with sausage like baked into the middle. It says rectangular baking dish. Oh, okay. So it says, well, to that part. Because now we're gonna, um, I'd say that's pretty smooth. That yeah. Do you want to show them the consistency? It's very liquidy. I don't know if you can see that without me pouring it. Just no more lumps. I feel like that's a thing, no more lumps. Should I okay. cover it? Yeah. If you want to grab the third. This is what you guys do to me. Butter in the pan. Ooh. that's in the fridge that are, gosh darn it. In the stove. In the oven at 450 up. Fahrenheit and it's heating up. So when the oil is hot, um, you take it out um, of the oven. And then, do you whisk that? No, I was gonna wait until we're So you give, that a, you give that a final whisk, that Where's being the, the, there might be another one. Give me the whisk. I don't know, it might, <laughs> You place the sausage. It's just a little bit. A little? Check out this utensil that you're using right now. So you place the sausage into the oiled, oiled rectangular pan. Here, get it on this. What are you gonna see? I'll get out of here. Very good. And don't do little pieces like this because I didn't know what I was doing. And then Megan 
told me the real way to do, do it. So bigger chunks, or if you get like actual sausages. Um, this is gonna be hilarious. Guys, this guys. stuff is so delicious. I'm so excited to eat it. And it says it serves four. If it fills this pan. Well, I this really will get more. very airy and I know, and but like, I just feel, no, what I'm saying is like, I feel like it'd be more, yeah. It feeds more than four. Hold on. I just wanna make sure. So you pour it over the sausage, return the pan, so you pour that over, the sausages. So then you return the pan to the oven and you bake for 10 minutes. Then you reduce the temperature to 350 degrees after it being in the oven for 10 minutes. I can tell you. I'm just scraping all the um, batter out of the bowl. Sorry that it's, you're only looking at the butt of the bowl, but you know. Okay. So that's in the oven for 10 minutes, and then you reduce the heat to 350 and you bake for another 10 minutes. And then we'll see what happens. So in 20 minutes. And it's like, really until, bad. so it's until the pudding, this is what it says, bake for another 10 minutes at 350 until the pudding is puffed up around the edges and the edges are brown. So you wanna like, if, it, if it's after like, you reduce the heat to 350 and you're looking and it's at the 10 minute mark and it still is not like a goldeny brown, leave it in there, but keep an eye on it because those things will go quick. I'll reveal. Ooh, I don't know if I that's think it done. needs more time. It needs more time. Just a little oh, bit. Oh, but it smells so good. Guys, it looks good. Mm. We're gonna do the reveal. Oh, oh man. Look at all that. Look at that. Yeah, that's perfect.